I'm Luisa Jarowski. I'm a lawyer, PhD researcher, the author of the Privacy Whisperer newsletter and the founder of Implement Privacy, where we offer privacy training worldwide. Today, I'd like to talk a bit about dark patterns in privacy and how to identify them. So the topic of dark patterns in general has been discussed since around 2010. But the topic of dark patterns in privacy is much more recent in the sense that the first major reports from data protection authorities and also consumer protection authorities were around 2018. And then 2022 and 23, there were various reports, cases, fines. So it became a much more popular topic. So what are dark patterns in privacy? These are user experience interface techniques. So you, they, they happen in the UX interface that try to manipulate the data subject to share more or more sensitive data. So let's give some examples. If you have, let's say, a cookie banner and there is a very big button written accept all and no button written reject all, only a, a low contrast link where you can read more options. If it's not the focus of the user and you offer a pop up that makes this big green button that is trying to push the user into accepting all cookies, you're not even giving the chance for the user to notice that there is a choice, there is transparency, you can interact with this banner and choose not to accept cookies, for example. You don't even give the button. So this would be an example. Or if you, when you're asking the user consent and then you use a, the ambiguous language or double negatives, anything that might confuse the user, this would be an also another example of dark pattern or when you have a privacy settings menu that is very complicated. So offering no choice is bad, but offering too many choices, let's say dozens of choices is too much and the user will not have time, interest, or, or even uh, the user will not make the effort to interact with all those choices. And the end result will be that the privacy will not be protected and, and there, will be, there will be no meaningful choice. In 2021, I wrote an article talking about dark patterns in personal data collection, and I developed a taxonomy. So to map all those types of dark patterns that happen in the context of privacy. And as we saw now with the examples, they're, they're, they're in, in a spectrum. So there's not only one type. And what's in common between all of them is the manipulation of the cognitive biases. Very important topic. And the general idea that the UX interface can have compliance implications. So today companies should be much more aware of how they design their interfaces, their privacy settings, their privacy buttons, privacy menus, and all the communication with the user because they, there might be a, a fine due to the way you're designing your interface or your interactions with the user. If you're not being transparent enough, you're not offering the choice in a way that will help the user navigate these privacy issues. From the point of view of companies, they should know that design matters. So they should train their employees, uh, product people, engineers, designers, marketing about dark patterns in privacy and how they can affect users, how they can manipulate cognitive biases. Sometimes, even if the company is not being malicious, it can happen. And from the point of view of users, all of us, it's also important to learn the types of cognitive biases that can be affected, how Companies try to trick us into sharing more or more sensitive data. So there's a lot of material at the Privacy Whisper in my newsletter. You can read more there about dark patterns in privacy. Also various uh, academic research uh, articles you can find online on dark patterns as well. And information and awareness, of course, super important. But I think the main the responsibility is for of companies. So companies should be really aware and trying to be proactive trying to prevent dark patterns in privacy before they happen. So companies, they have the responsibility uh, of protecting users. That's it. I hope this was an interesting lightning talk. And thank you so much for the organizers of the Global Privacy Assembly.